Hi, I'm Essie. And I'm Elle. Welcome back to Magic and Mayhem. So, our February book club book was Trust of the Emerald Sea by Brandon Sanderson. Uh, there will, as per usual, be spoilers in this. Yeah. So, if you, <laughs> if you don't want spoilers, we will see you in the next episode. Okay, I guess overall thoughts. Liked it? Disliked it? Kind of felt meh? I liked the book. It was fun to read. Um, as with most fantasy books, the thing that I will say is it was hard to keep track of whose name went with which character. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, most of the time I was like, wait, hold on, who was this again? Especially in the beginning. Yeah, in the beginning okay. you're like, wait, who? I mean, obviously Tress and Charlie were easy. Yeah. That wasn't hard, but once you got in with the whole pirate crew, then I, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> well, I did appreciate that most of the pirate crew was just Doug, because that was yes. easier. All the Dougs. But even when they died, it wasn't necessarily, you know, I didn't necessarily feel super bad, except for when that one died and some of the crew was upset and yeah. went to trust, and they were like, you know, can you keep, <laughs> can you, because they... At that yeah. point, they all believed she was this secret, Assassin secret, person. super, yeah. duper, amazing, <laughs> like one of a specialist. She's like, I'm top not. tier. She's, <laughs> I'm really not. And they, yeah, and they're like, can you keep us alive? And she's like, what do you want what me to do? do? I am not anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was one one uh, funny part. Once she, once they decided she was. This super secret agent. Um, that was kind of funny when she's like, there's literally nothing I can do to really convince them. Because denying it, they believe it even more. Mm -hmm. Because they would they think, the more I deny, the more it, it is, is obviously true. True that I'm not. Because of course, if I was this super secret agent, I would deny that I was a super secret agent. Yeah. So I think they had to deny it. That was one yeah. of the things. They always have to deny that they are. I mean, I did. We did. I did skip way ahead into the book right there, but um, that was one of my one of my favorite uh, parts. Was when they were so certain she was this top tier, secret super <laughs> super saiyan. Yeah. Like, and she's like, she's like wait. No. I'm a girl from a rock. I, <laughs> like, I've never even been on the sea before. I didn't. Yeah. I don't know anything. Sure. Slay was the one that was like, you are. I know you are. Yes. She's like, I'm not. She's like, uh-huh. Okay. I feel like I didn't love Tress as much as I thought that I would. Because a lot of people have said Tress is their favorite mm -hmm. from the Secret Projects. I, really, I, I, I know what your favorite is. I've only read two of them so far, but Tress is not my favorite. But granted, I have a very unpopular opinion. <laughs> but I, don't know, I really thought I'd like it more. It's really good, though. It's not that it's bad. I just thought I would like it more. Than I, but <laughs> we're doing spoilers anyway, so what the heck. But the fact that, it, like, very first thing when Tress met the rat, Huck, I was like, oh yeah, no, that's Charlie. Yeah, we were both immediately we're like, completely <laughs> certain it was... <laughs> we're like, and I was like, oh no, no that's... <laughs> I, even, I even texted Ellen was like, the rat's Charlie, isn't it? And she would not answer me. I'm like, okay, I, yeah. I wouldn't is. tell you, but yeah, not, me not telling you... Kind of told me. did kind of tell, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I knew it. So I'm kind of sad, because I feel like I would have been less kind of frustrated throughout the book because I, I still stand by Tress should have known that. I have to agree with you. Tress, She's not dumb. Tress should have been smarter than that considering we both immediately knew. Mm -hmm. And the fact that the minute she meets him he does exactly the same things that Charlie does. Right? It's like not even subtle. FYI, Charlie was turned into a rat. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm assuming if you're listening, you know that because you've read the book because you're okay with yes. spoilers. But yeah, Charlie's the rat. Charlie was turned into a rat by a sorceress. I mean, I did enjoy in the beginning when she and Charlie were together 
and Charlie was yeah. Charlie is this like nobleman prince kind of dude, and she's just a girl. Yeah, <laughs> commoner. Commoner, yes. But he always so that he can meet up with her, he pretends he's a gardener. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, I'm a gardener, and she's like, No, you're not. But we'll go with it. It's fine. He does not realize, I don't, uh, as far as I recall, he did not realize until he was leaving the island, really, that she was on to the fact that he was not a gardener. <laughs> she does point out things all the time. And was like, oh, so the gardener has a sword. And okay. he's like, um. He's like, to, you, you, know, you can't leave the house undefended. I guess. <laughs> so also I can use it to cut. Leaves. <laughs> yes. I was like, you're not even good at pretending. Yeah, he was He was not necessarily fantastic at lying. <laughs> no, he's not a very good liar. That, that stays true the whole book. He's not oh, a yeah. good liar. No. At no point is he a good liar. <laughs> he, his character development never was that he became a great liar. <laughs> Which but, again, yes. I'm, I'm like, so how did you not figure out? So yeah. Charlie had turned it got turned into a rat. Especially because you knew you were dealing with a sorceress. Who who could do that? Could do that, yes. But she I guess and honestly it was definitely the same like principle as Lois Lane never noticing that Clark Kent and Superman are the same person because they're wearing one of them wears glasses. <laughs> And I was just as annoyed by that. Yes. <laughs> All the but time, it's like, the same principle. Really? It's like, oh, it can't be Charlie because he's a rat. No! <laughs> oh. Why is the, the, that? <laughs> especially because the, in the whole rest of the book, it doesn't ever like actually say, but it shows you how smart Tress actually is. Mm -hmm. Especially when she needs to be. She's not dumb. She doesn't think very highly of herself, but she does a lot of really, really smart things. But then in this one area, she's like this humongous blind spot. Yeah. And I'm like, edit. What? But at the same time, I do kind of see why. Because since some of his, he stated some of his inspiration was from... Princess Bride? Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, freaking... You feel like that movie, I don't know. You know, that thing with Buttercup and... Yeah. You know that you thing. remembered her name. I know. I could do the names. I couldn't remember that it was Princess Rye. <laughs> I was like, Buttercup, Wesley, uh. <laughs> like, we're getting... <laughs> I know. But she also did not realize that True. the Dread Pirate Roberts... Even though he looked exactly the literally same. Literally the same. <laughs> Just like, really? It's like, oh, yes. <laughs> this is totally not Wesley. He looks the same. He sounds the same. Granted, if you think that your love is dead, true. I don't know if you would be like, "Oh yeah, no, he's totally still alive and in front of me." <laughs> she Maybe thought Charlie there. was on an island, not quite the same as dead, but uh, yeah. So you know, it's a. Uh, but she was pretty sure he was alive. Yeah, but I don't know. Anyway, but that kind makes of more sense when you compare it to Princess Bride, yeah. Cause yeah, she didn't know either, and I was like, "Really?" Mm-hmm. But she figures yes. out a lot sooner. Yeah. Because yeah, he's like, true. hello, it's me. <laughs> Basically, yeah. And she's like, OMG. And she's like, crap, I just threw him down a hill. Uh, and she's like, whoops. <laughs> my bad. Okay, I'll throw myself down the hill too. I'm like, girl, why didn't you just walk? I know. I literally thought the same thing. <laughs> you didn't have to throw yourself down the hill. You could have just walked down the hill. Or, or even like, Scooted down, yeah, like, like, you know, do something slide that's not down, just, you know, something. Something that's not just throwing your whole body down the hill. <laughs> just willing. Whee! So I guess at least Tress never threw Charlie <laughs> off of anything. It's true. <laughs> she didn't. She locked him in a cage, but she yes. never threw him down anyway. Yeah, she, she didn't throw him down any steep hills, so. <laughs> that was also part, even though the rat, I felt like, was very um too Charlie to mm -hmm. not be recognizable as Charlie. Mm -hmm. Like when he Charlie always tells her stories immediately, millions of stories, never shuts up. Mm -hmm. 
rat immediately yeah, starts telling her stories, stories. never shuts up. <laughs> Although there was a defense with the rat, she told him to be quiet. Yes. At one point, he was like, oh. And I was like, oh, don't tell Charlie to shut up. You're the only one who never tells him to. Yes. He's like, but, <laughs> but wait. <laughs> Shut up usually. I mean, obviously, she didn't say shut up, but you know. Yes. <laughs> but it, it, since it was kind of reminiscent to Princess Bride, not, and yeah. Buttercup not realizing who that the Dread Pirate sense. Roberts was, it kind of, even, even if I had been a little unsure on who Charlie was, yeah. I think that would have cinched it for yeah. me. That's fair. Yeah. I didn't really think about that as I was reading it. Even though I knew that's what it's based on. Mm, yeah. But. I found it fun when, um, when Tress was, like, assuming this whole time that all the food she's getting is the, like, the bottom, <laughs> of, the the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> like, the bird stuff. stuff. He's like, that's what I give everyone. She's like, she's like, tell me, tell me it's not. You're lying. It's you gotta be lying. I'm certain you have got to be lying you all, to me. all of you eat this? <laughs> And survive? Yes, that was entertaining. She was just like, she's like, I'm trying. <laughs> are you? Are you trying? I also liked how he wouldn't admit that hers was way so better, better than his. Until but after then, the deal. After, but she also tricked him um, into admitting. He's like, well, they'll notice if one is really amazing and all the others. <laughs> she's, she's like, like Really? Oh, so you admit it. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> I also liked um, the description and just the general atmosphere when she used the black spores. Oh, yeah. And got the the whole, like, out-of-body experience. experience. That was kind of fun. That I also fun. liked how it was definitely, obviously she didn't know, but it was Charlie who saved her from... Mm -hmm. Having a fatal encounter. Very, very fatal, yeah. Because Charlie's like, don't, don't do that again. Don't ever do that again. Yes. And she's like, okay, I'm gonna. Yep. Uh, when she was supposed to be learning to shoot mm -hmm. the cannons, yeah. and she, um, she's like, oh, you know, I know someone who, who likes to cannons? do this. <laughs> she's like, I don't, but I know someone who does. And so, I like. It was Anne, right? I think so. Anne can't shoot. Okay. And just turned out she just needed glasses. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I did like that about uh, Tress, how she could just kind of pull people in and mm -hmm. accentuate their strengths mm -hmm. and kind of notice what, what they needed. And it was also why the, the captain was so lacking. Mm -hmm. She didn't notice or care. Like, all Anne needed was someone to trust her enough to let her shoot. She just wanted to shoot. That's all she wanted. And she was, like, so happy to just randomly mm -hmm. be able to fire the cannon, even though there was... I mean, they were just practicing, but... And so Anne's like, let me tell you everything I know. Yes. <laughs> well, but I feel like it's kind of realistic that if mm. you give people a chance, yeah. they will give you a chance. Especially if they, you asked about something they're really passionate about. Yeah, every fan ever. Right. In the history of ever. Basically. About anything. Basically. <laughs> and I did, I did enjoy the kind of found family aspect mm. there was with Tress and the crew. Even though for a while Crow was very much in the way of that. Yeah. I also enjoyed before the dragon scene where Crow realizes... Tress has way more of their loyalty than Crow has ever, ever possessed has. in yeah. the entire time. Even though she's been with them so much longer. Or they've been with her so much longer, whichever. Yeah, either way. Um, but Tress has won so much more of their lo loyalty in, like, no time at all. Yeah. Because she actually cares about them. <laughs> right? Amazing and how that works. works. <laughs> and Crow's like, oh, frick. You know, he does. Horrible things to try and get, mm. you know, their loyalty back. Does it work? No, not really. I mean, momentarily it does. It was uh, definitely a moment where you 
disliked Crow most. When yeah, uh, dislike's not strong enough for how I felt, <laughs> but yeah. Because she, uh, Crow was the book's, I mean, technically first villain. The f- it was for a lot of the book. Because mm-hmm. it takes a while to get to any any other villain. Even though, like, throughout the book you know that the sorceress is a thing and you know the sorceress is a villain. But you don't, like, actually interact or see the sorceress for most of the book. Mm-hmm. So Crow was uh, technically, I would say, our first main mm. obstacle that was a significant one. So yeah, significant obstacle, yeah. To Tress and to Charlie. Although partially Crow also helped without realizing she was helping because the fact that she wanted to go to the Crimson Sea mm-hmm. anyway. Yeah. And Tress is like, well, I gotta go through there anyway, so. I did enjoy that whole exchange where she was convincing Crow to convince her to convince. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> y'all are going too deep, but all right. <laughs> so I gotta convince you, convince you, without convincing you, without you knowing that I'm convincing you. Yes. The whole, I'm going to trick you into thinking. Where they that, both played each other. Yes. Basically. I don't know who won. I don't know that anyone won that, I don't per se. Think so. Because it went in, they kept trying in to convince circles. each other that they were convincing, that they were convincing. Yeah. And that they didn't really, they want you to think, or Crow wanted Tress to think one thing. Tress wanted Crow to think one thing. Yeah. And Tress definitely felt like she got played, but I'm like, I don't think you did, though, because you, you still got what you wanted, too. Mm hmm. So did you really get played? Ford's board was number one, awesome. And number two, it was really nice to have the disability rep. So I'm like, that board is really cool. And do we have something like that? Because we should. Should. We, sh- we definitely should. So that was awesome from how I understood that it worked. Mm-hmm. I was like, do we have that? Because we definitely should. We have the technology to be able to do that. I don't know if we actually have anything like that, though, but... Maybe this was uh, Sanderson's way of shading it that we is. don't have. <laughs> it probably is, because I'm like, that's totally something we could have. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know actually how I assume it would be useful. I don't know, maybe it actually wouldn't be, because obviously I don't, I don't know, but it seems like it would be useful. Well, that was also what made Crow breaking it that much worse. Oh, that's made... the thing I was ready to murder her for. <laughs> yes. Like, I was, yeah, I was mad that she shot, you know, someone in the leg. Who got shot in the leg? Someone did. Oh, crap. I don't know. Which one got, either Silly or Anne, I don't remember which one. Like, I was mad they got shot in the leg. I was mad about, the, you know, because both the other two also had something horrible happen to them. But I was livid about the sign. The war being broken. I was like, I'm going to kill her. I'm going to go in the book and kill her myself. <laughs> Yes. I don't care that she can't die. I will find a way. Yes. Oh my gosh. Actually, she could die. Just don't give her water. Mm, quite true. She'll die horribly. But, that, yeah, that was the thing I was most mad about. Because I knew, like, the gunshot, what's his name, could heal it. I still can't remember his name either. Um, Names are hard. <laughs> like, the gunshot, I knew could be healed. You know, the other stuff, that could be taken care of. But the board... I yeah. really enjoyed all of even though Will was like, I'm not going to fix Hoyt at all. He did it to himself, so mm-hmm. I'm not going to do anything. But but I knew that, you know, Olam could fix the gunshot and the stuff like that. Like, I mean, I'm sure it hurt like hell, but yeah, it was fixable. Mm-hmm. Whereas the board wasn't. But that was definitely the thing. Tress did get revenge. Yes. <laughs> even <laughs> though it's... Way. It looked bad, because it looked like Tress had lost. Yeah. Although, actually, I do like the fact that Tress did win and get her back, but without actually harming her. Mm Mm-hmm. Tress never did anything that actually hurt anybody. Yeah. Even in getting, you know, revenge or whatever. Like, she still wouldn't stoop to what Crow was doing. Which made her a more likable character than Crow. Yeah, by far. Because even, even with giving Crow over to the dragon, dragon's like, but no, I, t- I treat my my servants well. Like, yeah. 
Also, she would die otherwise, so... Yeah, I enjoyed that the dragon just admitted to Tress <laughs> that he's like, yeah, I would have told her I was giving her the cure, but it would, like, give her a little extra time, but it would not. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a temporary cure. It wouldn't actually... And he just admits this. He's like, yeah, I wouldn't have told her that, but, you know, <laughs> she'd have died anyway. <laughs> she'd have died either way. Just prolong it a little bit. It's like, but she'll live here, so, like... Yeah. I was like, see... She's actually saving your life and getting revenge all at once. Mm-hmm. Yes. Although, she had the opportunity, like, to ask, you know, the dragon to, like, bring Charlie back or something like that. And she didn't. She was just like, I'm going to do it myself. Like, it didn't even cross her mind. Yeah. Instead, she asked for, can I have stuff for my friends? Mm-hmm. Well, I think that was a lot of the reason the dragon liked her and decided to let her go, though. Mm, yeah. Well, and because it, she was driven? Is that what the dragon said? She was I think too so. driven. Well, that, that's probably true, yeah. If she wasn't, she wouldn't have survived this long. <laughs> I like the dragon. I, I, could, I could do with a whole book about the dragon. The dragon was a lot of fun. It wasn't like... Like, it makes it seem like the dragon's going to be a villain, and the dragon's really not. The dragon's more, like, chaotic neutral. Mm-hmm. It's not really a villain. It's just not, like, a hero either. Yes. The dragon is just like, I do what I want. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> like, eh. He's like, I would have done the deal. I mean, she would have died anyway, but I would have done the deal. I just but, wouldn't have told her she was still going to die, yeah. but I would have taken the deal. Yeah. It's not my fault if yeah. she wouldn't know. Yeah. It's like, but, you know, you got stuff you're trying to do. I respect it. Go on. Go do what you want to do. Yes. The dragon was a lot more chill yes. than uh, you would have expected. Yes. Crow, that was a funny moment when Crow's like, here, I have, I have a servant for you for the deal. And Tress is like, here, I have a servant for you. <laughs> deal. Deal. And Crow's <laughs> like, yeah, Crow's death are like, what? wait, what the Uno reverse did ju you just do? <laughs> I was bringing you here for this, not <laughs> the other way around. I like it too. And Tress came back. She's like, they're like, what happened? And she's like, she should have like covered my mouth. I <laughs> Don't bring hostages <laughs> that you plan to trade if you let them talk. <laughs> Because Tress talked her way out of... Okay, talked her, literally talked her way out of it. I like how the dragon's also, like, talking about crows. Like, she really is awful, isn't she? <laughs> yeah. And Tress is like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kind of. The dragon is definitely like, I don't feel bad about this situation at all. <laughs> yeah, the captain probably should have gagged me. Yeah, probably. Well, and obviously, Tress has been able to talk herself out of a lot of sticky situations, so it's like... That tracks, actually. Mm-hmm. I mean, because in theory, the dragon could have just kept both of them and been like, oh, okay. Could have. I think that was one of the things with the dragon, though. He still, like, had a code of honor type of thing. Yeah. And with the deals and with upholding a deal. Yeah. He was very insulted that someone would, you know, imply that he didn't treat his servants well. Mm -hmm. He was like, how dare you? They get treated so well. Right. I actually really enjoyed the narrator in this, and I wasn't sure I was going to, because I knew the narrator is a character from the Cosmere, and I was like, I don't know if I'm going to like the narrator, depending on that. But I liked Hoyt. He was funny. Mm -hmm. I mean, ridiculous, but funny. And all his commentary on his own yeah. actions was just fantastic. Well, and on hers, too. Like, yeah. when he mentioned, he's like, you might think this is insignificant, but you have no idea how rare common sense this is. is. <laughs> that was great. I was like, I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Clearly, because he didn't have any when he entered his <laughs> like, competition with the sorceress. Yes. Sir, why? Yeah. Oh, he's like, I thought it would be easier to get out of than it was. <laughs> like, he did get there, but... Eventually. I was <laughs> just like, sir, why did you do that? But I kind of find it believable even still. I do too. Yeah. After hearing him narrate the whole story, you're like, yeah, no, that checks out. <laughs> yes. That does check out that you would do that. You are definitely that kind of person. Yeah. Who would definitely do something that stupid. Yeah. 
And still think it was a great and idea. It's a good idea. <laughs> to be fair, if he did win in the end, yes. but he needed lots and lots of help to do it. And a little trust is like, wait, I know how to fix this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the uh the ending was so sweet where mm-hmm. Tress was trying to save what was now her crew after Crow was gone. Yeah. And she kept trying to leave them behind. Like, every every it's little fine. bit, she's like, oh, it's fine. You can stay here. They're like, no, <laughs> you're our captain. We're, we're keeping you and we're staying with you. And she's like, are you sure, though? She's like, you no, can... no, I'll go ahead. I'm going to go ahead. You stay here. And they're like, you've no. done enough. And they're like, do you understand what loyalty is? <laughs> we're not going to do that. And so she just kept trying to ditch them. <laughs> no. And they keep following her anyway. And she needed them. She did. So it was a good thing that, you know, they were stubborn enough to be like, I know you said stay, but I'm not going to do that. Mm-hmm. And it was it was very cute. And that played into the whole found family yeah. thing where um, they're just like, no, no, no. and no. <laughs> so I guess Lily's like, um, you, you made me your, like, first mate, when my job is to tell you when you made bad, de- you're making bad decisions. You're making a bad decision. Yes. <laughs> well, like, correct. She is. She's like, idiot. She's like, <laughs> right, right now, right now you're making a bad decision. Yes. <laughs> Although the creature aspect was kind of funny to the, the spore creature things. Oh yeah, the midnight creature things, whatever it was. I don't know. I just and I was so proud of Fort and he was so pleased with himself. <laughs> and I'm like, that's genius though. To get to get protection and transportation. All By one. tricking them. He's like, Yeah. Well, I mean, yes, you could do that. But, but then all the other creatures can have <laughs> all the water and you won't get any. And they're, and they're like, like, oh. But I want the water. I'm like, dang it, you're right. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. I want all the water to myself. We wouldn't get any of it if something happens to us. They all get it instead. And they're like, <laughs> we'll make sure nothing happens. <laughs> it's like, that's genius, and I love it. And I do like the crew gave her, gave Tress an option to order them to turn around and said, you could order them to do that. And she was like, no, help me. <laughs> yes. like, Thank goodness for once. Although, yes, uh, they gave her the option. But I'm not entirely certain they would. They might have just been like, They might have done no, it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to fall. Like, we're giving you the chance to make, the, make right the right call. choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was it like, I don't know if up helping Anne shoot. Because yeah. it wasn't that she couldn't shoot. It was just... For so long, she had been told she couldn't shoot well, and then she was like, I don't know, and then he's like, I'll help. Yeah, Lackert came up and said, and helped her, which was very sweet, considering he was not a good person earlier. Well, I did, I did find it funny, well, not funny, but interesting, but Tress was the one who kind of turned him around as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because he was like, she, you're going to kill me, so just do it. Just get it over with. And Tress is like, I'm not going to freaking kill you. She's like, literally, I could have done that ages ago if I had so chosen. Mm-hmm. She's like, what? What do you think? Like, I could have done this, and I have obviously not. Yeah. So why are you so dead set on me killing you? <laughs> dead set. <laughs> Unintentional. But... Funny. He's just like, listen carefully. I am not going to kill you. I can throw you in the brig if you want. He's like, you do that for me? <laughs> yes. I was like, oh my god, Liar. <laughs> Why? You throw me in the brig? <laughs> yes. She's like, if you really want me to, but I'm not going to kill you. Uh, and then he realized that, yeah, people could actually mean what they say. And he's mm-hmm. like, Shook his whole world view yeah. <laughs> right there. And that was so sweet when he came up and was helping Anne. And as soon as he helped her the first shot, then she could shoot every time after that. She Once she'd hit once, that's all she needed to get her confidence back to be able to be like, 
oh, I can shoot. And then he was like, Dan Fine shooting. I was like, oh, <laughs> that's cute. I was still like, Sorceress like, wasn't that big and bad for being the main villain, but. Well, it was funny how they played everything against her, though. Yeah. Played her own. Played her own game. Her own. And turned her own, all her own stuff against her. Mm-hmm. Played to the weaknesses of her beasts and everything else. Yep. And they're like, hmm, how can we use this? I don't know. And I like that even Charlie got to do something. Mm-hmm. Even though he was still a rat. Even though he was still a rat. And he's like, I, what do I do? And he's like, I can do one thing. Mm-hmm. He's like, I know one thing I can do. But uh, they really needed it done. So... It was very helpful. I'm surprised it took that long, which wasn't long, but still. But it still it took that long for Tress to be like, this Charlie's not the right Charlie. Yeah, I mean, it was really also very obvious that that Charlie was not, no. <laughs> not a, the correct Charlie. No, if you've been in prison for months, you're not going to be happy. Super cheerful. <laughs> like, yeah, I did it. No. No, definitely not. Unless he was really freaking high. Yes, I guess he supremely drugged up for that. And um, and once she realized he hadn't been imprisoned, then she's like, oh, Eureka. She's like, <laughs> the rat. You're, it's the rat. Yeah, because that's the most cruel thing to do. Well, I think her cruelty was in making, more or less making it so that in order to for Charlie to break his own curse, he would have to hurt Tress. Yeah. And he was just going to deal with being cursed. He was not going to bring Tress to be cursed, too. And so she was forcing him to make the choice to be a rat or give up a person he loves. Yeah, and let the person he loves be cursed. Equally horribly. Or worse. Yeah. So that is actually a pretty terrible curse. Yeah, it was horrible. I was like, dang, woman, jeez. <laughs> Who hurt you? <laughs> But I mean, just just that aspect of the the way she geared the curse mm. that did show she was pretty nasty just in general. Mm. Yeah, because either you know you stay cursed for the rest of your days, or you give them the person you love most in all the world, right? Over to be cursed. Yes. But and so she might not have been necessarily. Scary, yeah. But she was certainly not the nicest person. Oh no, she was not nice at all. She was a very cruel person. She and, and Crow were very similar in that way. Mm -hmm. Although I like how she didn't immediately know when she's like, "Okay, I'm being. I'm gonna go now." Um, <laughs> yeah. Crap, always back. Okay, I'm. I'll go. I'll go. Fine. Screw. Well, I think um, she was supposed to be similar to oh, what was his. Humperdink? Prince whatever? Yeah, probably. Was it Humperdink? And I think she was geared to be kind of like that cruel, yeah. like that. I think maybe Crow was geared to be kind of like the six-fingered man. I don't think they were meant to be exact copies of those characters. No, probably not. But just have kind of some Influence. similarities to them. A yeah. Bit. I would say the six-fingered man... His cruelty was similar to Crow's, definitely. That was why I kind of linked those two in my yeah. mind. When, one of my favorite parts in the... It was only just like a line. But mm -hmm. in the ending... I mean, I loved Tress's character progression. Mm -hmm. From the girl that doesn't think she can do anything. anything. Yeah. And just likes cups. To, Which is still cute. But... I mean, yes. But to this confident... Captain. Captain of a pirate crew and who does not want to go back to the rock. <laughs> uh, she'd already mentioned it with, with the fake Charlie, but mm -hmm. how she didn't want that life anymore. Yeah. She didn't want to go back. She didn't want to regress the and be what the fake Charlie was saying that they could be again. Yeah. I think Charlie's like, we can go home, and da, 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 da. and she's like, but I don't want that now. Yeah, and uh, I liked that, and then when they do go home in the end, it's 
granted she still loves you know her family and everything but she doesn't she's not planning to stay they're not there mm -hmm. to stay there actually their family went with came with when they left well yeah but you know even if they hadn't i yeah. don't think she would have stayed and they were back to see you know everything mm -hmm. and you know that's all great and fine but they're just like, yeah, we're not, we're definitely not staying we're here. Staying on the rock, yeah. Not staying here. Mm -hmm. uh, but now the line, <laughs> that was the lead up to, um, I liked how, even though it wasn't a great comeuppance, mm -hmm. I liked what happened to Charlie's dad. Oh, he, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how he's just kind of stuck with the, it's like, stuck with the consequences of like, your well, own actions. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Yes. And, but the line, the line that I loved <laughs> so much was where um, they were talking about how Charlie's mother just obviously left, <laughs> left <laughs> the guy. And the Duchess, it should be noted, had moved away from the island and more importantly, from her husband several months before. Turns out that abandoning your only son to certain doom is not a path to a healthy marriage. <laughs> Just so funny. Yes. That that line there was my favorite line in the whole the book. Whole book? <laughs> I loved it so much. <laughs> Just the incredible sass of that sassy. line. So much like sass. It turns out. Like, like this is shocking. Who would have thought but, you know, that's something someone will get upset about. <laughs> she this is their only child. Yeah. Like, she's like, you did what? She's like, bitch, I'm out. I'm out, yeah. <laughs> Read that. She's like, I'm not taking that knucklehead that you claimed. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely not. Yes. That was so, so funny. Just the, but that line... The sass level so, in that line was why it's my favorite. It was great. Should we do a rating? Do you remember what you rated it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I had to look mine up. That's why I have a lot of ah. Because I couldn't remember. What did you give? I actually gave it a four. Oh. Which is surprising. Maybe a 4.25 if I'm feeling generous, but. I, I believe I gave it a 4.25 as well. Yeah. Which I'm oh, really good. I definitely I thought we would both give it five. Like I really genuinely thought that, and then we didn't. But it was still really good. Oh yeah, it was really good. It was a ton of fun. I mm. I was truly enjoying it pretty much from page one. I liked yeah. Tress and I liked Charlie. Yeah. And at first, I almost thought um, I wasn't going. Well, I didn't like the first crew. Yeah. But I sure. almost thought I wasn't going to end up liking the next crew. Yeah. At first, I didn't think so. Yeah. But then it, it was really just Crow. So. Yeah, it was mostly Crow. Yeah. I think that's also the one of the kinds of books I would like more on a reread. Mm. But. Yeah, I, I think same. It's, there was just so, so much going on. Yeah, there was a and lot. And so many names I had to keep trying to figure out who we were talking about. Oh, yeah. But I think it'd be yeah, easier on a reread. And, like, your expectations are different mm -hmm. going in the second time. Because that wasn't really what I expected that story to be. It kind of was. But it also wasn't really what I expected the story to be. Yeah. So now that I know what kind of story it is, I think I would like it more. Yeah. I also think I would have liked it more... Had I not had a big pause in the middle, because I oh, read like yeah. half of it, and I paused for a while, for quite a while, and yeah. then I picked it up back up, and that was when I was really struggling to remember who Who's everyone who? was. Yeah, that makes sense. So, I think that detracted from how much I was enjoying it in, yeah. in the second half of the book, because, yeah, I was like, wait, who who are you? Right. Who, <laughs> who is this? Is? Who is this? New who phone, is? who's this? <laughs> I kind of did that, but I had only, like, just started. I was only, like, 40 or 50 pages in. Mm. And then I put it down. 
so I went back and reread the first 40 or 50 pages, which probably was good because I, well, I yeah, I don't remember much, but then I read it all in one day. Yeah. <laughs> so then I was still like, I eh, probably shouldn't have done that either. I, I don't think you could, it's reading it in all in one day is necessarily the way to go either, either no, it's but not. not read half of it and then so wait a long we time. We both did it wrong. Yeah, we both did it wrong. I'd say you take a few days or maybe like a week and read it and then. Although one thing I forgot to mention was I liked that, granted, Charlie's father was horrible, Awful, but yeah. I liked that we did get some good family or actual family representation from Tress's family. Yeah, her family was great. Because most of the time the heroes and or heroines of a story have, you know, horrible truly parents. horrible yeah. parents. It's Awful. almost never that they have a good family. Yeah. So I kind of appreciated that in this one that for a change mm. Tress had a good supportive mm -hmm. family yeah that was really nice also the thing that her dad did for her in the beginning yeah I was like I, I know get a little teary -eyed. I know Stop it was so that. sweet that's why I, I had forgotten to bring that up but I wanted to mention that before we leave is I really enjoyed the Tress's family rep yeah that was great I was sad that she ended up having to leave him for, for so long to go do this, but, but it was okay because okay she came back and got it. It was fine in the end. Yeah. But highly recommend it all the same. Yeah, it was very good. I would definitely recommend it. I think it's one of those two that's very, like, generally, like, people are going to like it. Like, you can recommend it to a pretty wide range of people. Mm hmm And it'll probably do well. Comedy, it has sci-fi, it has fantasy, it has romance. Yeah. It has all kinds of things, so. I definitely think, it's also a good one, like, if you're just getting into, like, fantasy, it'd be a pretty easy one to get into. So, next month's book club pick is Paladin's Grace by T. Kingfisher, um, and then April will be Can't Spell Treason Without Tea by Rebecca Thorne. So, and I'll have a list of all the ones that we have tentatively picked so far for the year in the description box below as well. So if you want to read along with us and talk to us about it, if you've read Tress, let us know what you think. We would love to talk to you about it. Or if even if you're just like interested in trying it, we'd like to know that too. We like to talk about books, obviously. We like to talk a lot about books. We do. We talk a lot. Thanks for listening to Magic and Mayhem. All right. Bye.